Art is cool, and you're on the mothership. Let's get into this thing, my alien gang. So today in this video, I'm going to be announcing the winners to the art contest, and I am joined by my lovely boyfriend Donnie here. Um, he changed his main look Hello. recently. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, there goes Donnie. Anyways, it's okay. so with all that being said, <laughs> let's get on with the video. So for this art contest, I did things a little bit differently, and I created categories in which I would be judging on, and opposed to me just judging at eye surface, because I got so many entries. Now, how I did this was I made a 30-page Google Doc with seven different categories. Each category could earn the artist up to five points, and those points could be deductible if certain features were missing or things just didn't make sense overall so that is how these will be judged if you want to see if you want to see how well the artists did you want to see your overall score i will be linking the google doc in the description please do not be mean to anybody's art in here i think all of these pieces are absolutely beautiful and i appreciate every single entry i got i had so much fun with this and it was just really fun overall to do this and i loved seeing your guys' creativity but with that being said i did have to pick a winner and these are the categories that I was judging the art on to choose the winner. All of these could earn the artist up to five points so 35 points overall. So here are the categories. Dave, deductible if missing wings or etc. My main look, obviously five points, deductible if missing features, items, or patterns. Background, five points, deductible if it doesn't fit or low quality or no detail or if it's just bland or reused. Correctness overall, five points, deductible if missing faces or details or is different than the original character intended. Creativity, five points, deductible if the entry is similar to other entries. Detail, and shading deductible again five points for lack of or too much of or only one of the other detail or shading um feminine aesthetic deductible if it doesn't fit the character overall or color scheme now, no, I did not announce these categories in which I was going to be judging in exactly. I wanted to see the creativity overall and give my personal critiques. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. All this is in the Google Doc. I will not be going over or listing what artists scored what. I'm just going to be telling you guys who won and who's honorable mentions and all that kind of stuff and give out the prizes. So let's start with the entries. Searching, looking all around. For something I still haven't found The world's so heavy, it gets me down And though I may hurt sometimes, I know I will be alright So I do what I got to do Whatever will put me through I put myself back together I put myself back together No, I don't wanna be sad and blue even if I'm black and blue, I put myself back together Cause I am bruised but I'm not broken Damaged but I'm coping Holding on and hoping I'll find where I'm going Bruised but I'm not broken Took some time to own it And though I may hurt sometimes I know I will be alright Bruised but I'm not broken Damaged but I'm coping Holding on and hoping I'll find where I'm going Bruised but I'm not broken Took some time to own me It took some time But it's gonna be alright Sticks and stones might break my bones You show me the darkest of the unknown But I'll get stronger on my own And it may hurt sometimes And I will be Damaged, but I'm coping, holding on and hoping I'll find where I'm going. Bruised, but I'm not broken. Took some time to own it, and though I may hurt sometimes, I know I will be alright. Bruised, but I'm not broken. Damaged, but I'm coping, holding on and hoping I'll find where I'm going. Bruised, but I'm not broken. Took some time to own it, and though I may. Sometimes I know it'll be alright. Who's but I'm not broken? It took some time, but it's gonna. Who's but I'm not broken? Who's but I'm not broken? 
wake up with a knot in my chest tried everything just to get out of bed it ain't working it ain't working sometimes i can get like this cover it up with a smile on my face but i'm hurting i'm still hurting there are days when the world gets heavy sleepless nights i've had way too many when it's late and no one's around around alone in my room and the tears stop pouring wishing the nights were still the morning but tonight i'm gonna let them fall down fall down cause it's okay not to be okay it's okay if you feel the pain don't gotta wipe your tears away tomorrow's another day it's okay not to be okay it's fine you're allowed to break as long as you know as long as you know everything is gonna be okay 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 Look at you, look at me. We all going through it if you look beyond the surface. Beyond the surface. So what do I do? Just wear it on my sleeve. Maybe then, maybe then you believe that I'm hurting. That I'm hurting. There are days when the world gets heavy. Sleepless nights, I've had way too many. And it feels like there's no way out. Way We're still the morning But tonight I'ma let them fall down Fall down Cause it's okay not to be okay It's okay if you feel the pain Don't gotta wipe your tears away Tomorrow's another day It's okay not to be okay It's fine you're allowed to break As long as you know As long as you know Everything's gonna be okay Okay Cause it's okay not to be okay It's okay if you feel the pain So gotta wipe your tears away Tomorrow's another day It's okay not to be okay it's fine, you're allowed to break As long as you know, as long as you know Everything's gonna be okay, okay Gonna be, gonna be, gonna be Gonna be, gonna be, gonna be As long as you know, as long as you know Everything's gonna be okay It's okay not to be okay It's fine, you're allowed to break As long as you know, as long as you know Everything's gonna be okay I He keeps leaving you for dead I don't know what you've been waiting for So you've got your love locked up instead But something better's waiting at the door You don't know your worth All the things I know that you deserve Now we're gonna get into the rankings but if you guys want to see how the artist did like overall point wise the google doc will be linked in the description down below so you can check it out especially artists if you want to see the critiques and maybe what you guys can improve on or what i think you guys could improve on at least so all these pieces i want to say are like super amazing and not gonna lie i felt really bad having like to like deduct points from any of these artists because all of the art amazingly creative in their own aspects but as i mentioned and again we do have to pick a winner this is what i felt i could judge on so with all that being said let's get on to the winners so how this is gonna go is gonna be honorable mentions then runner-ups and then 
the three winners. I originally was only going to do a first and second place prize, but because of the amount of entries I got, I want to do prizes for third place and for the runner-ups. Third place would be getting a good long. Each runner-up is going to be getting a wristband because I loved all of the entries and I felt like with the amount of entries, I should be giving out more prizes. And keep in mind, that is along with the fact that every person who entered will be receiving a clothing beta just for entering. So if you haven't yet received your entry prize, please contact me the way you submitted your art and tell me your username and I will be sending those out as soon as possible. So first we have the honorable mentions and the first honorable mention was Dracoy's piece. As I mentioned, I love the expression on this one. As well as Ria's, I absolutely loved the concept of the glowing eye. I thought that was really cute. And then Jaguar's, I loved the creativity there was with the um, changing my undertone to green and then making white circles for the background to make it pop out. And then Lol's, Lol Boy's entry was also really creative and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was a nice spin on my on my mane and I just felt like it really fit me. So honorable mentions will sadly not be receiving anything rather than the entry prize, but the entry prize, as I mentioned, is a clothing beta, so please jag me people or contact me so I can give you guys your prizes. And I want to say before I move on, all the credits for all the entries will be in the description as well, so don't worry about it. If you want to see these artists and contact them for commissions and stuff, the check the description. So the runners up are the following and they will re each receive a wristband. We have Dino. Again, the amazing detail on this is shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody that Dino is a runner up. Amazing artist. I love the expression on the Kawaii one and I absolutely loved the like position that my character was in and I loved Dave being on the nose. I thought that was a really cute idea. And then next we have Kagi's piece. Kagi's piece is also super cute. I absolutely adored the masterpiece and I really, really liked the um, digital art too. I thought the moon in the background was really cute and I thought the lighting details on it was also really good. And then next, as no surprise, we have Typhi. Typhi's piece was really cute and you could definitely tell that them and Job kind of went off of each other for this for their entries because they both had the same concept and knowing them um they're best friends so I thought it was a really cute pairing for those two entries. I loved the idea of Dave and me being in space and I, I loved the fact that I was wearing an astronaut helmet. I thought that was a really cute idea. And then up next, to no surprise, we have Pyro. Pyro's entry, as always, was amazingly detailed. I loved the idea of me crash landing on Earth and just my UFO being on the ground. And I just thought the detail on the fireflies in the background was so freaking amazing. And the trees and everything. Ah, I can't get over this entry it's such a cute concept and I loved it. And then for the last runner up, we have Grizz. Grizz's entry was the one with the really detailed background and I absolutely loved the little details on the fur. And I just thought it was really cute and the background is literally stunning. I cannot. It's so cute. And that's all we have for the runners up. Those people will be receiving a wristband each. So, to the artist, please contact me the way you guys submitted your art so I can send out your prizes. And we're moving on to the winners. So, drum roll, please. In third place, winning a long collar, we have Job 14. Now, this piece was so cute. I loved the concept of floating in space, like with Typhies. But with this one, there was the added detail of Dave with a little astronaut helmet and my boyfriend in the background. And I loved, like, the purples used in this piece. And I thought it flowed really well together. And you could really tell I was floating in the air through space. And it was just an absolutely adorable piece. And in second place, to no surprise, winning two solids, we have Vintage Roses. Now, this piece, I cannot get over. I freaking love the style this artist has. 
I love the detail of the tongue. I really thought that was a really cute idea. I really, I really wish I could have seen more of the background, but rather than that, this piece is literally like chef's kiss. I love it. And in first place, winning the rim headrest, we have the ghost with the most, Ghost T. Now, I was really surprised when Ghost entered this contest because Ghost um, doesn't really do contests. But this entry, oh my god. Now, I'm not one for basic backgrounds or bland backgrounds, but I feel like it tied so well because the blue is the color of the eyes and I thought that was like ingenious. And the shading on the thing, it's so subtle, but it's so monumental to the piece. And I absolutely loved the detail on the fur. And I just loved the idea of Dave having arms. Like, oh my god, that was so cute. So, those are the winners. And I want to thank everybody so, so much to all the entries. I loved looking through all the entries and I will be using these art in the future, I'm sure, for many things. And all the art will be credited in the description. To the artist, again, if you want to see specifics on how you rank, check the Google Doc in the description linked below. And we're going to be sending the people their prizes. So let's do that real quick. So first, we want to gift the amazing John 14. Are they on? No, they're not. John, get your booty online. Again, this piece was so cute, and I want to say it was so hard making these. Like, it took five hours because I'm the kind of person who can't, like, judge anybody for anything, so this was really out of my, like... This was out of my field, so to speak, but I absolutely loved all the entries, and I'm really happy that I got to do this, and hopefully I'll be able to do more things like this in the future, because I absolutely love seeing the community, the community's artists, and I love supporting artists in the community, as I do frequently commission people a lot, and I do frequently use art for many things so this was also an amazing experience for me to get to know so many artists and see your guys' creativity with my character really flow for your guys' art pieces and I could go on but congratulations to all the winners we gotta do my signature congratulations my congratulations Instagram. I gotta put Congo rats so Kong Congo rats to job Joel 14 for winning third place. And then next is Vintage Roses. And they won the two solids. I think their username is just Vintage Roses. I could be wrong. Let me check real quick. Is it Vintage Roses? Let me, let me, let me check real quick. Yeah, their username is Vintage Roses. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't sending the prizes to someone else. Are you kidding me? They're not... <laughs> I'll insert uh proof that I messaged them asking for them to get their booty online. So, you guys know that I'm not a scammer. I swear, guys. Please. You just want to support the community. Don't take me. And then last and finally, we got the big kahuna, the big prize. I am so excited for this one. I absolutely love this entry as well. All the entries were amazing. This one overall really stood out to me. And I just, I loved how, like, how modern and yet how detailed it was overall. I feel like... It just really flowed really, really well together, and I absolutely just love this artist as well. This artist is really sweet and has actually become a friend of mine recently. Um, this artist is like, oh my god, I love their style too. All these artists' styles are amazing in their own right, but this one really just stood out the most to me, I feel like, and... It just flowed so well together, and I'm so proud of them, and I hope they enjoy their prize. So congrats to Ghost on winning first place. So, with all that being said, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!